I'm a celebrity. Get me out of fear. Hello, lovely people. How are you? And I mean, how are you sorting you out? Today, I want to be intentional about somebody I don't like. I so don't like him. And I'm not even talking about the devil because he's sorted. But this one, every now and then, he comes up with a challenge. And I call him fear. Let's start this way. On any given day, those of us who say prayer in the mornings, you pray to God, thank God, and you ask for his protection for the day. Guess what? On days that you're not able to do that and something bad happens, all your mind keeps telling you is, oh, I didn't pray this morning. That must be it. And in fact, you live in fear of the fact that if I don't pray, God is not going to protect me. That is not right. That is so not right. This is what we do. We live in constant fear of everything. You have prayed. You have said a prayer. During the day, what do we do? Let's take a simple thing like eating. We, we, we concentrate. We're so conscious of what we're eating. So, so conscious of what we're eating or what we are not eating. And the reason of being that conscious is not even because you want to keep healthy, but because, oh God, let me not eat this because it's going to give me some sickness or the other. I heard this one could make you this sick. I heard this one can cause this sickness, can cause this disease. And we constantly live in fear of what we're eating and what we're not eating. We live in fear. We're actually doing the exercises, not because we love ourselves so much that we want to keep fed. We want to look good. We want to feel healthy. But because I'm afraid of a sickness, because I'm afraid of a disease that I'm going to get a few years down the line. We live in constant fear of everything. How about the fact that I am eating well? And I love my body so much that I'm not going to put junk in there. Another thing is, let's say going to see the doctors. Some of us go to see the doctors. And truth be told, you have some symptoms in place. And you are going to see the doctors, and the doctor. And the doctor is telling you, there is nothing wrong with you. We've run all the tests. We've checked everything. We couldn't find anything. It doesn't make you happy. You need a second opinion. You need a third opinion. You need a fourth opinion. But why? Because you have symptoms in place. And the little symptoms. Or you had a friend tell you that. Oh, I know somebody who had this, these symptoms. And the person ended up having the sickness. Don't get me wrong. I am not against seeing the doctors. I'm not against seeking a second opinion. But my point is, how about... On any given day, we walk to the doctors to go and find out, to just go and check how our body is doing and find out how can I keep being fit? How can I keep being well? Just because you cherish you, don't get it mixed up. I am not against it. It's okay to seek more information. It's okay to be knowledgeable. It's okay to be on Google. It's okay to, to, to be... To get all the information that you need. But. What is not okay. Is when that information. Drives you. To be afraid. By the way. Do you know that it's been proven. That prolonged fear. Suppresses the immune system. Come on. You can't go around being afraid. Of everything. Or doing things with the motive. Of being afraid. Relax and enjoy your vegetables because you love you, because you love your body, because you love you so much and cherish yourself so much that you don't want to put just anything in there. What am I saying? In 2018, I'm encouraging you to be intentional, not to pally with fear, not to be a victim to fear. Check the news. Check the newspapers, check the television. We are so bombarded daily, on a daily basis, 
with news of how things are going wrong, with how all the food on the market can give you one sickness or the other. We are bombarded with, with how innocent people are being shot because somebody just decided to fire some gunshots. And all those things. Look around you. Look at life. Look at the things you face on a daily basis. And I can honestly tell you that it's almost as if we are literally geared towards becoming pathological fearful beings. How about one day we switch on the television and all we hear are talk shows about how to keep fed, how to build your immune system, how to love yourself so much that you can love someone else, how to develop ourselves and step into our calling, how to nurture a generation of young people, young ambitious people with a purpose. Imagine if our social media and networks are mostly about getting to know who you are, finding your purpose in life and walking in it and spending happy times with loved ones and not regretting after they are gone. The world will be a better place. We are being geared towards being pathological, fearful beings. And I need you to have this wake up call. Let's name them. We are afraid of being different. We are afraid of being the ones that start something new. We are afraid of being left out. We are afraid of disappointing people or being disappointed. We are afraid of people's opinions. We are afraid to enter into a relationship because of past hurt. Yet you are afraid to stay married. You are afraid to commit to a marriage. You are afraid of letting go. You are afraid of being judged. We are afraid of trusting too much. We are afraid of loving too much. We are afraid of rejection. Afraid of pain. Afraid of the next level. Whew. That is a lot of things to be afraid of. That It's quite tiring. I don't know about you, but I find it very tiring. But why? Why do we have to live in fear? Why must fear cripple us so much that we cannot live life? All because we are keeping safe in the comfort zone. All because we, we, we are conscious of being, being protected and feeling safe and protecting ourselves and not breaking the barriers. What happened to perfect love drives out all fear. Come on, be intentional somebody. Relax. Eat your vegetables. Eat well. Oh, yes. Keep healthy. Do those checkups. Love yourself. And do what you've got to do because you cherish you. Because you love you. Most importantly, is the motive behind what you're doing. I love you. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about facing our fears and what we can do. In 2018, nothing is stopping us. I love you all. I'll be right back. Be intentional. Not every